Welcome to my channel. In this session, we will discuss simple interest and compound interest concepts introduction. What is simple interest? What is compound interest? How they are calculated? We will discuss them in detail. Before that, there are few terms that we should be familiar with. The first one is P that is principal or sum. This is the money borrowed or lent. Second term is N or T that is period of time, the time for which money borrowed or lent. The third one is R rate of interest rate at which interest is calculated. This is expressed as percent per annum. For example, if I say 10% per annum means, percent means per 100. So for every 100 rupees, the interest is 10 rupees per annum means per year. Right. First of all, what is interest? Interest is the extra money paid by the borrower. Interest is the extra money paid by the borrower. Now next one is total amount. What is total amount? A amount stands for sum of principal and interest. Suppose if I borrowed money, the sum that I borrowed plus the interest that I paid extra is called the amount or someone lent the money, the money that is lent plus the interest the person received that is principal plus interest together is called amount. Right? Now how they are being calculated? We will take uh, two tables uh, and we will try to fill these two tables. Uh, with simple interest scheme and compound interest scheme. Let's take an example. For example, say there is a principal of 1000 rupees. Say a person borrowed 1000 rupees at the rate of say 10% per annum. What do you mean by 10% per annum? I just said per 100 for every year it will be 10 rupees. So for 1000, 10% 10 of 1000 it will be 100 rupees the interest for first year. So what will be the amount if I have to repay at the end of first year, the total amount that should be repaid is 1000 rupees is the sum plus 100 is the interest. So total is 1100. However, if this is continued for second year, for second year should the interest be calculated on 1000 or on 1100. In simple interest, interest is always calculated on the sum that is on 1000 only. Again at the rate of 10 percent, 100. If second year if it is repaid, at the end of second year if it is repaid, the total repayment should be 1200. Now for example, if it is continued for third year, again as I said in simple interest, interest is calculated only on the initial sum. So it will be on 1000 only at the rate of 10 percent, 100. So the total amount will be 1300. Right? So here interest is always calculated on the initial sum. Because interest is always calculated on initial sum, interest for any one year is same. Right? First year if it is 100, second year is also 100, third year is also 100. Let's see how uh, in compound interest scheme interest is calculated. If I take the same 1000 rupees at the rate of 10% per annum, interest for one year is 100. The, the total amount that will be that should be repaid at the end of first year is 1100. For example, if this is continued for second year, if it is not repaid at the end of first year, for second year, the interest should be calculated on 1000 or on 1100. In compound interest, interest is calculated not only on the initial sum plus also the interest accrued. Here the interest accrued is 100, so 1000 plus 100 on 1100, the interest will be calculated. In other words, whatever is the amount outstanding at the end of first year, becomes principal for second year. At the rate of 10%, 10% on 1100 is 110. So the total amount will be 1100 plus 110, 1210. Suppose if it is continued for third year, we should calculate interest on this entire 1210, that is 1000 rupees principal plus first year interest 100, second year interest 110, 210, 1000 plus 210, 1210. So on 1210 we calculate interest. At the rate of 10%, it is 121, 1210 12, plus 121, 1331. So if you observe here, interest for any one year is not same. Why? Principal is not same. Principal is changing. What's happening to principal? Whatever is amount at the end of first year becomes principal for second year. Amount at the end of second year becomes principal for third year and so on. If you observe these two schemes now, in simple interest, principal remains same. Hence, interest for any one year is same. For one year if it is 100, for two years 200 I can say. For one year if it is 100, for two years I can't say 200, it will be more because the principal is increasing. right? So this is the basic uh, 
basic concept of simple interest and compound interest. Every time you stick to these two uh, calculation methods that we have just discussed, you can solve any simple interest and compound interest question. However, in the following parts, we will discuss a few more concepts on simple interest, compound interest and also a few formulae and shortcuts. So whatever we have filled here, let me show it the typed version here. You can see here, principal remained same, interest for any one year remained same. Principal is not, principal is not same, hence interest for any one year is not same. One more observation I can tell you is, what is the difference between first year and second year? 10 rupees. You know this 10 rupees is nothing but 10 percent of 100, yes or no? 10 percent of 100 is 10 rupees or not? Right. If you see 110 and 121, third and second year difference is 11. This is nothing but 10 percent of this 110. 10 percent of 110, it is 11. This is 10 here, this is 11 here. All right. So, if I ask you fourth year and uh, third year, what is the difference means? It will be 10 percent of this 121, that will be 12.1. Interest will keep changing there, but interest will not change here. Right. So, this is the basic uh, concept of simple interest as well as uh, compound interest. In the next session, we will discuss simple interest concepts little more detailedly.